coming back. We are now on to part four of our mini series on how to make over your closet yourself and find your personal style and create the closet of your dreams. And so just to quickly review, in the first video, we took everything out of our closet that we felt wasn't serving us. In our second video, we started to kind of hone in on what our personal styling priorities are, what our best sense of our personal style really is in terms of how we actually get dressed, not our fantasy selves, but the stuff that we actually wear. We also got an idea of what is not working for us and started to set some goals for ourselves. And then in the last video, video three, I took you through my own personal closet clean out journey and some ideas for really starting to identify your style personality and a vision and really a, a vision board if you will if you're into Pinterest I think that's the best way to do it to kind of give you some direction with your style start to bring some flavor into the way that you get dressed and also start to bring some cohesiveness to the way that you style yourselves so now in video four and moving forward we're gonna start to look at a few different styling personalities along the way we may look at some styling challenges and how to deal with those in a creative way so this week I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite ways to get dressed one of my favorite styling personas and that is kind of the California West Coast girl so when I think of West Coast style I think of someone who spends a lot of time in their athleisure wear someone who loves casual style they they like to be comfortable. They like to keep it fresh. I'm thinking a lot of leggings. I'm also thinking a lot of denim and some little pops of bright color. Someone who's not afraid to run around in their sneakers. And so we want to look now at some ideas for that. So if this is something that really resonates with you and you want to just start to level up your game a little bit when you want to just, when maybe you feel like the COVID era has put you into leg leggings all the time and t-shirts and tanks all the time and you cannot seem to get out of that styling rut but you do like that way of getting dressed then this is definitely the video for you this is kind of a how to level up your athleisure wear concept video so what I did just like I did in my last video for myself I went to Pinterest and I started to look for West Coast styling ideas things that really appealed to me so now I am going to walk you through some of my favorite photos and just explain a little bit more about what that concept is and why I like it. And following that, I'm going to take you on a little multi-day tour of a capsule wardrobe that is inspired by these photos, building on some of the pieces that we have here in store at Chill Boutique. So let's get going. Here are some of my favorite Pinterest ideas for West Coast style. When I think West Coast, I think beautiful weather, outdoor living, running around in active wear, just being a way of life. And this is a great way to just bring it up a notch with a really cute denim long jacket and a cropped tee. Another way to bring up those active wear leggings when you're just running around is to throw on a really elegant or even just fun cardigan with it and a baseball cap and you've got the whole sporty chic theme going. And knotting the tee at the waist is another way to bring it up a style notch. Ease is one of the first things that comes to my mind when I think of West Coast style and the idea of a little shirt dress. Oh my gosh, something that you could just as easily throw on as a beach cover up. So perfect. Bag thrown over the arm, maybe a pair of sneakers and simple jewelry. Light flowy fabrics and beautiful colors is also a hallmark of West Coast style in my mind. And so the idea of just a simple satin or silky skirt thrown on with a tank is both casual and elevated. For a pulled together look, I love the idea of the palazzo pant and throwing on a chambray or a denim shirt, tying it at the waist, putting on a straw fedora. The whole look is completely pulled together, great for going out to dinner or just running around town. The idea of a jumpsuit just feels so West Coasty to me. It's a great indoor slash outdoor piece and something that, again, you could even throw on as a swimsuit cover up. Love it paired with the sneakers. Very fun and fresh. 
The matching set is such an in look right now and I love it with the joggers, which is also a hallmark of West Coast style. You've got the definition here of sporty chic. You can't really embody California or West Coast style without throwing a sundress somewhere into the mix. And I love the really pretty colors here, the easiness of it, and just the fun flirtiness of this look. Nothing is more West Coasty or all American than the faded jeans and the simple basic t-shirt. Such an easy look to replicate and level up a notch by throwing in the right jewelry and maybe some fun fashion sneakers. So I'm following the same format, like I said, as I did when I went on my own personal styling journey and I assembled photos that I liked. I then went into my closet and started looking for pieces that I had that I really love that I could use to replicate these looks. So I'm going to do the same thing for you guys here with West Coast Style. We're going to take some of the pieces here in the store that we've got right now and I'm going to show you how to build looks that are maybe not an exact replica, but are influenced by some of these styles we have just looked at. So here we go. All right, friends, so in this first one, I really liked the picture where she had on the long denim jacket thrown over active wear. I mean, that's just a really easy everyday look, but it has a little bit of pulled together edgy style. So what I did here in the store was I took some of my favorite new leggings in from Mono B. I love this tangerine color, and this feels extremely West Coasty to me, not to mention tangerine is really the color of the season this year for spring and summer. So I love these. It's just a gorgeous seamless legging. And I really liked the idea of the crop top with the high-waisted legging. Now, a lot of you are like, there is no way I'm going to wear a crop top. I'm not showing any skin. And please know, I am not suggesting that. These are high-waisted leggings. So this top should meet you right at the top of that legging. But if that's just still too much for you, then throw a tank on underneath and let that tank be a layer that you throw the crop top over and then you don't risk any skin showing. But I love the idea here of the legging with the crappie top and then taking a long trucker style denim jacket like the one we've got here. You guys, I love this one. This is a great piece year round. It covers the backside for those of you who are self-conscious about that in the hip area and it's just really cute. And then throw on a cute little white sneaker. You've seen these before but I love these right here. Cute little sneaker, has the satin ribbon. And if you're into West Coast style, then I have to tell you, you, you can't have a closet without some really cute sneakers to throw on with just about anything. The next look I really liked, also built on leggings, and it was just a basic legging with t-shirt, oversized cardigan. How can we dress in a way that's comfortable like that, but still has some style and isn't overly loungy? It's something you could actually like wear out to dinner, and I really liked the way I decided to replicate that look. So I took just a basic black legging like these from Mono B. It's a high-waisted legging, and actually, if you really want to edge it up a little bit, these are our shredded legging. I love these, but you could just do a basic black legging. And then I took a very simple v-neck tee here, tied a little knot on the side just to add some style to it. And then instead of the um, oversized cardigan, because if you're in a hot climate like we are here in Arizona, chances are you're not gonna be wearing a sweater, a knit sweater during the summer. But I love this alternative to that, this oversized duster from Tees by Tina. I love it. This is a washable linen duster. And if you throw that over the black legging and then just throw the duster over the top and once again put on a cute little sneaker with it you've got such a cute look but it's all built on the foundation of active wear and i'll just show you another sneaker alternative it's that same white sneaker in black and with the little ribbon so if you need a little help a little addition to your wardrobe and you want to come in and shop this is a whole outfit here that would be absolutely adorable Okay, quite possibly one of my favorite looks that we found here on Pinterest that I wanted to try to replicate was the little shirt dress. It's just so easy. I mean, it, it does not get easier than that. And again, throw it on with little sneakers, throw it on with slides, and you can do that look. You don't have to do it so short. If you feel more comfortable with something closer to the knees, that's fine. I really, really love this top here from Mono or from, sorry, from Mal 
Malibu bum and I say top because I'm kind of used to wearing something like this as a tunic over a skinny jean or a legging but if you're a California type of girl you're gonna throw this on and this is gonna be like a little shirt dress and you can put the sneakers with it in fact it would be really cute to put on a little cheetah print type sneaker. And again, it's got that just fresh West Coast feel to it. Or if you wanted to elevate the look a little bit, you could take a wedge like this great one here from OTBT. This is the between the toe wedge. I love these, you guys. They're so comfortable. Again, it's a memory foam sole, so you don't have to be worried about the height on this. It actually feels practically like you're wearing a sneaker and throw it on with the dress. And this is the simplest outfit that literally can take you from grocery shopping to dinner time and cocktails afterwards. Totally love the maxi skirt photo. And so inspired by that, I took one of our latest new arrivals in here from SafeM. It's in this beautiful teal print with just a little bit of white detail on it. Nice, lightweight, flowy maxi skirt. And I thought it would be beautiful paired with this cotton gauze top here from Grade and Gather. Just pop that on. You can wear it out over the top or tuck it into the skirt. And then to add just a little extra edge to it. Take an embellished belt like this gorgeous one here from Amsterdam Belts. I love these belts, you guys. And this is, again, just a great little outfit. And if you're feeling super West Coasty, throw the white sneakers on. Once again, easy breezy and yet totally elevated. I really like the outfit that features the flowy pant, especially with the print mixed in with denim. Very West Coasty. Flowy pants are huge right now. Love a little bit of print on the bottom. And so I started here at Chill Boutique with the pant from SafeM. This is a really nice flowy pant, super soft, very, very nice price point. And then I took a graphic tank, like this one from Ohm and All London. It says, be the person your dog thinks you are. So cute, perfect for dog lovers. And I want to make a quick note that uh, an element of West Coast style that I think is so essential is also incorporating the graphic tee or tank or concert tee and uh, putting it in with your activewear, putting it in ironically, maybe even with a silk or satin skirt, um, just bringing it into kind of all elements of getting dressed. And I put those together and then you could take a chambray or a tinsel top, button down shirt, tie it at the waist, or you could just take a denim jacket like this one from Mono B, a crop denim jacket and throw it over the top, pop your sneakers or your flip-flops on and you are ready to go. Well, as someone who really loves West Coast style, I'm going to tell you right now, jumpsuits are everything. And we have a lot of options here at Chill. My way of replicating the jumpsuit, yes, love the overalls. We've actually got more coming in here soon. But I also like the idea of just kind of a harem jumper. This one is absolutely fabulous, you guys. I wish you could see the whole thing. You have to come in in person to check this out from Studio Co. It is a super ultra soft bamboo romper here. And then to complete the look, to keep it simple, you can just throw on like a little half camisole underneath like this one from Tease by Tina. I love that. You could put something with color on underneath it. Or if you're feel like, feeling like you need a sleeve, you could do a long sleeve bodysuit like the one I have on right now. This is actually a bodysuit from Mono B and I love this. Or you could do the short sleeve version of exactly what I'm wearing from Mono B. And we have this in multiple colors, you guys. We have it in mauve. We have it in the sea foam color and it's just a great pairing with a bodysuit. Super easy. Back to the sneakers or the slides or even back to a higher elevated shoe like the one we looked at from OTBT. Matching sets are such a fun athleisure statement and they're so chic right now. I love them. And so I wanted just to give you an example of one that we have here at Chill Boutique. I love this, you guys. It's so super soft. It comes in this kind of bluish, it's almost, it's like a blue black um, kind of crystal wash. And we also have it in a mocha color, super soft, easy flowy kind of jogger pant matching hoodie. And then as the weather really starts to heat up. You could also just pair that jogger and joggers are huge when it comes to West Coast style with something like this little waffle crop top, which hits right at the waistline from Mono B. And by the way, we just got these in in four colors and these are fantastic. They're selling like hotcakes. So I love that 
great matching set, really fresh and super comfy. Another hallmark of West Coast style is just the perfect little dress, right? The perfect beachy, fun little dress, not afraid of color, not afraid of pattern. And so I love this. We have a lot of opportunities to shop those types of dresses here at Chill Boutique, but this just happens to be one of my favorite. It's very simple and easy. It's a baby doll style dress. You can put this on with the little black sneakers or you can put it on with the higher wedge. This is just something that is so great when the weather starts starts to heat up. It breathes well and keeps you looking extremely adorable. And friends, last but not least, this would not be West Coast style without some jeans and t-shirts in the mix. So I took one of my favorite pairs of jeans here from Just Black Denim. I love these. They're super soft, high-waisted. They have the destroyed knee. I just love these. This is such a staple in my wardrobe. And I, when I think of West Coast, I think of kind of a lighter wash jean, and these are just so beautiful. And and then instead of just a plain white tee, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that, I love a white t-shirt and jeans, I wanted to pair it for you guys with one of my favorite new arrivals from Mono B. We got it in one color, it sold out in a minute, and so I brought it in in several other colors. We've got it in the coral here, and we have it in this really pretty teal type sort of seafoam color, and uh, we also have it in black. It's beautiful, you guys. It's like a brushed soft cotton here. Here, and I just love these oversized tee thrown over your jeans and then paired back to a fun little shoe is great and you know a shoe that I want to show you guys actually I want to show you two fabulous shoes because with any of these dresses whether it is a shirt dress or a little baby doll or you're doing it with the romper or you're looking at jeans also, I wouldn't be afraid to bring in a pop of bright color, especially if you're going with West Coast style. I love these new slides from Sorel. They also come in black, but I am really partial to this neon yellow. It's gorgeous. And so pop that on with your jeans for just something to finish it off instead of just plain sneakers. Or you can also do one of my other favorite new arrivals from Sorel which is this little kinetic sandal and it's based on their best-selling sneaker they adapted it to a sandal i love this it's got the little pop of neon on the back we actually have this in store in two different colorways and again this is just a nice way to add sporty chic to your look. This shoe is the definition of sporty chic. So that's it guys. Those are some of my favorite ways to create a really chic West Coast style wardrobe and elevated athleisure wear. If this is you, I would be happy to help you. I hope you got some great ideas today, you guys, and look forward to more videos to come featuring other styling personalities. And then we will also start to look at just some fashion challenges and how you can up your game using the pieces that you already have. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.